5 Strange Things We Cats Do Kneading One of the most common and distinctive cat-like displays of affection is kneading. You humans climb into bed or curl up in your favorite chair, and we show up to massage you and the blankets. When we're kittens we need to stimulate our mother's milk flow and this reminds us of those comforting times, feeding and nuzzling our mom. It's sort of like a reminiscing thing. We may also use the behavior to scent mark our beloved human, create a comfy bed or express contentment. It's a trait kittens carry into adulthood, often used to calm ourselves during times of anxiety. In the cat world, kneading equals love and safety. Presenting Bottoms A cat showing their bottom to you feels like one of the least charming, weird things we cats do. It might even make you go you. This often happens when we leap into your lap for attention, pacing back and forth as you pet us. Instead of a face-to-face -face interaction, suddenly your normally modest kitty turns around and sticks their nether regions in your face and you may not feel the same way about that as we do. Well, you see, scent rules the feline world. We cats identify each other by smell. Presenting the tail and first shows you we trust you. That high hell tail position offers a friendly greeting. We're just communicating the way we would with other cats. Consider it a friendly invitation for a howdy sniff. You don't have to enjoy the invitation, of course. Just accept it as another weird cat thing. Walking the countertops. We cats love lounging on countertops, shelves and other second-story places. The higher the perch, the better. That poses a safety issue for cats who stroll across the stovetop. But you can't stop this natural inclination of ours. Pet cats, though no longer wild, inherit the instinct to seek high ground. We're hunters, sniffing out and stalking the butter dish, but also prey. Finding the highest ground in our house offers us a nifty lookout, far from dog sniffing and kid poking range. Plus, it has the added perks of food rewards. To redirect our natural urge, you could put away the tasty temptations, but we'd rather you didn't. It's hard to make counters unattractive to us. Maybe we need a cat tree or other perch higher than the counters. It's worth a try, I suppose. Grooming my humans When your cat grooms itself right on you, or licks you with care, it's their way of showing affection and trust. In the cat world, Licking is a sign of high trust, typically seen within the same social group or family. Mutual grooming shares scent and bonding. We feel close to you. So, when we groom you, it's a way of saying, you're part of my clan. Additionally, there are several other reasons why cats groom humans. One. Showing affection we cats lick and groom each other to show affection, so it's only natural that we'll want to show love for you in the same way. 2. Spreading scent cats are territorial creatures, and if we like you, we'll want to mark you as our own. By licking you, we are claiming you as part of our territory. See, you thought you owned us but we actually own you. 3. To clean you up we may lick you because we like to groom the people they love. If we think you're looking a little untidy, 
We might start doing this more often. That might have sounded a bit rude. 4. Attention seeking sometimes your cat licks you simply because it's an easy way to get your attention. We only have mouths and paws, so there are few choices for getting your attention. If you react when we lick you, we've worked out that you'll respond. 5. You taste good we may keep coming back for more because you taste good. It could be that you have some stray food on your skin, or your cat just enjoys the saltiness. I know you taste good, daddy cat. 6. Bonding just like you want to spend time bonding with your cat, sometimes all your cat wants is to feel close to you. Our innocent way of bonding might involve a little grooming, a little licking and a little loving. Remember, your cat's grooming behavior is a sign of their affection and trust in you. Enjoy those gentle kitty kisses. Rough play. We cats play rough for several reasons, and understanding our behavior can help you handle it better. Here are some of my thoughts. Natural instincts cats have retained our hunting instincts despite being domesticated. Playtime is just like hunting behavior, including stalking, pouncing, and biting. We practice our hunting skills when we play. We're essentially practicing pouncing, chasing, and biting techniques in a safe environment. It's like a training ground for our hunting abilities. Social play rough play is common among kittens and young cats. They engage in mock aggression, which includes stalking, swatting, and playfully biting each other. Now, Let's talk about how to manage rough play, that's if you don't like it. Use interactive toys instead of using your hand, opt for interactive cat toys like wand or fishing pole toys. Just a note about that please, no physical punishment avoid physically punishing any cat for rough play. Cats don't perceive punishment as anything to do with wrongdoing they see it as a threat. Reacting angrily can and will damage your relationship with us cats. Be patient with us. We don't mean to hurt you. There's just a little wildness left in us still. Lastly, don't take anything strange we do personally. Cats have their moods, just like humans do. Continue showing us love and understanding, and we work it all out together.